Let's take a look at the Vibrant America Heavy Metal Urine Test. Now, this is a quick, simple, easy way of checking for heavy metals in the urine. You can also do a HTMA, the hair analysis, where you cut your hair and send in a, a, a bit of hair. That goes to a different lab though for checking heavy metals, but this one by urine is nice. So let's take a look at what you get. So when you order this lab, you get a box from Vibrant like this in the mail. It comes FedEx. It's going to be a little smaller than this. This is because it has two labs in it. One lab is going to be a little bit smaller. Don't throw out the box. You're going to put your sample back in this box and back into the FedEx bag that they include to ship it back to the lab. So uh, the heavy metal test is a urine test like the mycotoxin, the organic acid, and the environmental toxins. Okay, so you're going to get your uh, urine sample kit like this inside the box. It's going to come with a sheet of instructions. Make sure you look, the, look um, this over well. They give you step-by-step -step instructions, what to do, what to not do, and they also touch on what you have to do for each different urine test. So here's what comes inside the kit. You're going to get your urine collection kit, which looks like this. You've got your uh, pee cup that actually for collecting your sample. You've got a pipette for moving the urine from this one over to the shipping tube. So you collect the urine in the big one, then you're going to pipette, use the pipette to move it over to this one, which has a max line up. Well, that's hard to see up around the top. You'll see when you have it, but this is the one it actually ships back in. Okay. So, and then it has the bag with an absorbent sheet, which hopefully there's no leaking. And then also um, a sticker, which will go on the tube that confirms your name, date of birth and all that stuff so that the lab keeps everything straight. So like the mycotoxins lab, I asked people to um, uh, fast for at least 12 hours. So if you're doing, if you want to ship it back on a Monday, on a Sunday night, after supper, after dinner, say 630, you stop eating and drinking. Now continue to pee overnight, that evening and overnight as required. Okay. But you're only going to collect your morning urine after at least 12 hour wait. So if you start fasting at 630 and you have to pee at 1 a.m., don't collect that 1 a.m. pee. It's fine to pee whenever you want. Just don't collect it until it's been at least 12 hours. So you're going to fast until Monday morning. And as long as it's been at least 12 hours when you wake up or after you wake up and it's been at least 12 hours, you're going to collect your urine in the cup. Once it's collected, you're going to use the pipette. Oh, I've got stuff rolling everywhere to take it out of here and put it into the shipping tube until it comes all the way up to the max line there. Okay. So that's how simple it is. And then when it's done, you're going to put the, uh, you're going to throw out the big one. You're going to cap the shipping one. It's going to go back in this bag. You'll have your sticker on it. And now as for, uh, so you're going to do fasting, but they have some, uh, some other, uh, restrictions as well, which is avoid foods high in iodine. So I'll include things like seafood, dairy, and kelp and selenium. So if you're taking these in food form or uh, supplement form, you know, you don't want to be taking that. You don't want to be taking a mineral supplement, obviously like Brazil nuts, high in selenium for 48 hours before collection. I would also stop binders. If you're on binders, I would stop them for two days before as well. So that's how simple it is. You're going to get your box. They include the return shipping bag from FedEx. So make sure you look at that and fill that all out ahead of time. So you can call FedEx ahead of time. If you're, do, if you're going to do it on the Monday morning, call FedEx on Saturday and say, I have a pickup for Monday. And then um, after you do your collection on the Monday morning, you're going to put it all back in its bag, put your stickers on, put it back in the box, put the box back in the FedEx bag and leave it on your step. Or if they're coming to your door or whatever, you can figure that out. But that's the simple process for doing the heavy metals test. And it only takes a couple days to go back to the lab. And then in about two to two and a half weeks, sometimes quicker on heavy metals, uh, they will send out a PDF result with your uh, PDF file with your results and we'll know exactly if heavy metals are an issue for you or not. So it's very similar to the mycotoxins lab. All these urine tests are very similar. Each one has their own little tweaks, you know, like uh, my mycotoxins one has a few different rules. The heavy metals has a few different restrictions and as does organic acid, the environmental toxins one is very easy. 
you're just um, fasting for it and there's not really a lot of restrictions for food or supplements there. So if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email, matt at pharmacy.com or use the contact form on the website. Other than that, um, if you get this ordered, uh, I'll shoot you an email to collect your date of birth. Height, weight, we'll get this into the lab, get things rolling, get the kit to you, get it back. And in a couple of weeks, we'll have your results. So if you have any questions, let me know. Other than that, looking forward to seeing your lab.